Monroe, talk a, a little bit about uh, what the loss this Saturday meant to uh, your fellow teammate and uh, what he brings to the table, not just on the field, but off the field. I mean, obviously, um, you can't replace a guy like Dante, but I mean, I think Coach Saban do a good job putting somebody in um, to fill his spot. Um, it's just not a big loss. I mean, it's a big loss for his team, but for me personally, it's a huge loss. Uh, he's more like a little brother to me. And um, I mean, when he got hurt, I felt like a part of me wasn't out on the field. Like, I mean, I went my same self uh, with him not beside me. Uh, but, I mean, I mean, Dante is a, he's just not a, our, our teammate, our friend. And I think, I think we'll be all right because, I mean, he's going to be in practice with us. He'll be at every game. Uh, he'll be on the sideline. Um, he, he'll be doing a good job in practice, coaching up the guy um, that's going to be in his spot. I mean, so even though we can't replace him, um, we're going to try to do a good job of trying to move it on and um, try to get the job done. Do you look forward to being able to maybe mentor another player? I mean, I know there's going to be multiple people that fill his his role because he can do so much, but do you look forward to be able to take somebody else under your wing? I mean, it's going to be a, it's going to be a process. Um, we got guys. Uh, that were backing him up. They were doing a good job in practice. I mean, they're, they're ready, I think. Um, we just, I just got to tell them what to get prepared for. Um, I don't mind mentoring them. I mean, but at the same time, uh, I would like to have Dante there, even though he's not. And, I mean, we just got to gotta get past it. It's not something we can sit and dwell on. We got to um, try to get ready for Kentucky. That's a slack fall to just one guy or do you feel like the whole defense kind of has to, to pick it up when you lose? I mean, we all we all got to pick it up. I mean, he's an impact player on his on his defense. He can he's a force in the middle and then when he goes down on the edge, I mean, he's a force there. So it's just not one guy that can replace him right now. Um everybody has to pick up their intensity. Uh, we're still going to be a good defense in my mind. Um, I know coach Saban won't allow anything but for us to be a good defense. So I think it would be all right. Rondo, each week there's a top 25 team that seemingly gets beat by an unranked opponent or has a major upset. Is that a kind of a, a factor for you guys to constantly to focus in, knowing that you can be knocked off any given? I mean, that ain't something really, really that we're worried about. I mean, I mean, teams like USC they lose because they don't they don't focus or for any little little reason. I mean, that's not something we that we're worried about. Are we gonna play our style of football? We know that in the SEC is, is all good competitors, and you can lose at any time. So we treat every game like it's the it's the biggest game of the year, because in our mind it is that game that week is the biggest game. So I mean we're not really worried about it, what what happens to everybody else uh, with them and their failures with losing. But we're just gonna play our style of football. We're not gonna worry about losing. We're just gonna worry about playing Alabama football. Hey Ro, you can't replace Dante, but maybe more now than ever. You guys have at least capable depth that can step up and keep a championship alive. I mean, Coach Saban. I mean, like I said, Coach Saban's going to do the do what he does. And he's going to put the guy in his spot. I mean, that best fits the position. Um, I'm going to do my part by trying to help the guy out. Um, I don't expect him to be perfect. I don't think anybody does. I don't expect him to be Dante. Um, but at the same time, I know he's going to give great effort. Whoever that person is, we really haven't talked about it yet. And we we'll just go from there. Does it help, though, to have an experienced guy like Corey that's played a couple of different spots, especially in game like Saturday where he could jump in there? And, and Corey is phenomenal. He, he can do anything. Uh, he went from playing Sam, and then he went right to Will, and it was no problem. We didn't really miss a step. Um, I mean, that helps a lot, but we really can't focus on Corey being there right now because we do need somebody at Sam, even though we have a little depth everywhere. Um, we want to have our best players in our best spots. Um, I think with Corey A. Sam and somebody beside me, I think we'll be fine because I can help and coach uh, the guy beside me. I mean, well.